So in this particular video, we are going to talk about open and closed tags. Now, this is the basic fundamentals so that once you understand this, it's going to make more sense when you see the code itself. So basically, in order to create an HTML document, it always has to have HTML with brackets surrounding it and then a closed tag, which is, looks like the open tag, except for you have a slash right before the words that are inside of the bracket. As long as you understand this is an open tag and this is a closed tag, then all the tags that you're going to see in the codes and the syntax and the language, they all have an open tag and a closed tag with exception to the break tag. So I'll show you that in just a minute. Now, if we go over to Composer, and we take a look at the source code here, you'll notice that the HTML tag here starts here, and then at the very end, it closes up, right? And then of course, the head tag has what we call an open tag right here. It opens it up, and then you have to close the head right here. So same with the title tag. The title tag, this is open, opening the title, and then within here, you can put the actual title. So let's say, for example, that we have a dog training blog post that talks about how to how to stop your puppy from biting. So you know how do you go to Google and you see the titles for each website? And then, of course, you see a description. That is where the title is right here. You're getting a quick glimpse of how the code here gets read by the browser and then, of course, by Google or other search engines. So you see how this works. So we have an open tag and then we close this sentence with the close tag for this particular word title. And then, of course, heading, you can see here, we close the heading and then after you close the head, then you can start with the body. Now you see how the body starts here and then the body closes here. So everything else that's actually inside of your landing page is going to be inside of the body. Now notice that the break tag does not have an open and closed tag. The break tag can essentially stand alone. So you're going to have some words that are stand alone that don't need an open and close. But if we go to the normal view and let's say, for example, that we want to center align a word. So we'll do word. We will center align that. Now, if I go to source, you can see that a div tag is being used to center align that word and the div tag gets closed. Now, don't worry about the div tag or all these other tags. I'm trying to explain the concept that in most cases, something has to be opened and closed, right? So you can have all sorts of words and then you close it down. Now, if I go back to normal and let's say I want to bold a word and I go back to source, you can see that the style has been added for bold. Now, you don't need to know this stuff. I'm just showing you this so that you understand that for most cases, there's an open tag and a closed tag for the majority of cases. And then of course, there are certain cases that are rare cases like the break tag, which can stand alone. That does not need an open and closed tag. Essentially, it is the same. So now that you understand this concept, you can actually begin to move on to the next videos and we'll go over the basic tags like the break tag, the hyperlink tag and everything like that. So don't worry about understanding the tags and what they mean yet. Just understand that, you know, we have the basic HTML tag and then they close down the basic head tag and they close down. So one way to learn HTML without me even teaching you is simply by going to the normal view, doing one step at a time. So like I showed you earlier, we start from scratch. If I go down, down here, I click on source. I can see what has changed. So I, I've essentially made a lot of breaks. 
So spaces and enters down here. And I put the word, word here. I take a look at source and ask yourself what has changed. Look at the code, see what has changed, and then do the next step. Make it bold. See what has changed at that point. So that's another good way to learn HTML from scratch by actually doing something to it that you want it to do, whether changing the color, making it bigger, changing the heading. And that's a good way to learn HTML by a step-by-step -step manner. So with that said, I'm going to go to the next videos and we will show you exactly other tags that are very common that you are likely to face. See you there.